Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to share with you how I do my fervent study and if I have enough time I'm going to slip in and try to show you what else I am doing like other notes I am doing uh, in my traveler's notebook. I'm doing my fervent study let me show you what I'm talking about here. It kind of help if I share that. My um, fervent study by Priscilla Shire. Um, I'm doing. I'm going through the book. I've have never read it all the way through. I've only read a couple of chapters, and um, and that's not because it's not a good book. It's an extremely good book, and that is why I'm just taking my time. I'm soaking it up. Um, I'm just and. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a it's highly recommended book. I mean, just grab this book if you can get it. And um, if you can, use uh, a notebook, um, something to actually work alongside of it, along with your Bible. I highly recommend because there are verses in here that she gives you to look up, to pray over, just to help get you stronger. And like I've said in my previous video, um, when the books actually have actual you know um scriptures in them it you can some of them actually share the scriptures in here but you just get a different feel for the scripture when you take the time and look it up yourself you relate to it differently i mean at least i do so alongside of my um traveler's notebook i am using my pray the scripture bible i do have a actual flip through of my brown one this is a newer one so I'm actually working through my newer Pray the Scripture Bible. So um, I highly, highly recommend picking a Bible and using it. This one I picked just because it is a Pray the Scripture Bible. This Bible, you are praying over the actual scriptures you are using. So I'm, I'm getting like two, um, you know, two extra goodies with, you know, just one thing. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you have this book, you already know what I'm talking about. And if you don't have this book, I purchased mine from Walmart. You can find this book everywhere. And it, this one is actually the older one. She does have a newer one, Battlefield Something Battle Prayers. I, I don't know for sure. I don't even know if this she shares it in this book because this is definitely an older book. This is not, yeah, no. This isn't like a new book at all. But you could still, like I said, find it. Um, so at the beginning and I, and she even says in this book, do not keep this book in good condition. Do not write in it. Take notes. She wants you to work through this. And, and she understands like, that's how you get stronger. So you're reading it. You're, you're really soaking it in and you're, you're learning. I mean, you can only learn. I'm a very visual person. So Bible journaling relates woo, to me. I mean, perfectly like I am soaking up so much and I'm learning so much because of Bible journaling so right here she has these um, strategies and she has ten of them so do you see how she has these scriptures this right here is not the scripture so if you read oh strategy one is against your passion this is talking about what the devil does this isn't the scripture so if you're just reading this, oh, in Ephesians, you know, 6, 10 through 20, this is what he's talking about. That's not going to do you no good. I mean, you have to actually take the time, go into your Bible and look about, you know, look what she's trying and referring to. She wants you to put in the work. And when you put in the work, that's when you grow. That's when you can see results. And that's how you grow more spiritually. Okay, so... For the strategies, I have, and you do not have to do the same thing like I do, I mean, at all. I am just sharing tips, sharing, you know, giving you tips on how I do it. I um, come on the top because I always add um, tags and stuff to my sides of my Bible. So I add these tags on top to where I can just, let me bring you up here where I could see strategy one, two, three, and it goes through all 10 of them and I can find them when I need them. So I'm on strategy one. I'm trying to move you real slow so I'm not getting you dizzy. And I'll write the strategy up here. And then again, I write it right down here 
Let me show you again. So you don't have to write all this out. If you're not a real big note taker, you don't have to do this. It's just important to come into the Bible and highlight the verses she's talking over. So when it says Ephesians 6, sorry, Ephesians 6 through 10, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, you come in here, you find six, and you highlight them. Um, that's, you know, and obviously read it, soak it up, understand what she's saying. Now, this is what the devil, devil will do to against your passion. So I just wrote out exactly what she has here through here. So if I'm out and about and I have my Bible with me, or if I'm in a Bible study and someone's having like a hard time, you know, with prayer, I can always come through here and refer back to the notes and these strategies and maybe even give them to, you know, the person in need. So I highly recommend, and she has 10 of them, so go through your whole book, add all these into your Bible. You can add the actual, what the devil is doing, um, for this strategy, like against you to get you to stop praying because that's his main goal. His main goal is to stop you. He doesn't want you growing. He doesn't want you succeeding. He is intentionally trying to stop you. And I'll show you another one. So that's one thing I am doing with my fervent book. Book. I'm coming through here. I'm writing out the actual um, little fervent I, I don't know what she calls them. Just there's strategies. These are strategies. That's what it is. These are strategies the devil is placing against you to get you to stop praying. So write down the strategies so you're aware of when you come to, you know, strategy two and three, you're reading, oh, well, what was this over? What strategy was she, you know, referring to? You already have it right here, black and white, and you click. You remember like, oh, that's right. Okay. So that's how you can introduce, and I highly recommend doing that, adding the strategies into your Bible. And then, I mean, when your kids, when, you know, you pass and your kids have them, they learn it. They understand what you're, you know, what you use, why you wrote down the strategies the way you did. Now, in my traveler's notebook, I have my little sticky note sticking out here, I also will bring um, notes and ideas that she has in here that has touched my heart too. So um, whatever I have like highlighted and stuff, I don't I don't write down every highlighting because she has like a lot of good 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 information in here. So I don't write down like everything like I'm writing down the whole book because I probably would do that if I <laughs> if I wanted to, but I'm not. So, um, this right here is just different little notes that I have taken from, you know, from the book. This right here, I wrote down the armor of God. And this is just a rough draft of right here. So, I don't know if you can really tell from looking, but these are like the notes. So, you can do something like that. If you don't have a travel for this notebook, no worries. You can use a notebook. You can add them to planners, your journals, what, whatever you like. I just am a new into my traveler's notebook and I am loving it. And then um, this one, my brain is all over the place as you can probably tell from my videos. If I think about something, I will go off on that tantrum and talk about that. So <laughs> that's just how my brain works too. So um, this was one day that I did this and I came back to a different day. A new idea popped up so this doesn't have to be an order I know what this is because these are my notes so this one right here I got it from the battlefield of the mind so if you if anyone has this Bible I highly recommend going through it and writing down the articles and stuff that she has in here like right now I am going through this dedication and it's know what God says about you. So this is really, really, really important for us to not only journal, but actually go through, memorize, and know. So all of these I have high. I'm not all the way through all of them yet, as you could tell, but the ones that I've highlighted, I went through this Bible and I've journaled it. So I'm taking my time, I'm writing out the scriptures, 
I'm going to share them all here with you. My phone will just focus. I'm trying to keep it still, but it's just not doing it. Give you a chance to copy them down for yourself. Oh, sorry about this. There. So write these down. I, I'll show you in my childish notebook. And I'm going through this Bible and I'm journaling it. So for a quick one, I will share was this one. And I just shared this on Facebook. And this was, he, um, what was it? He, what, know what God says about you. And this is what, in this scripture right here, he talks about being a new creation. So I came back through the scripture, I found it, and I journaled about it. And then the next one was 5.12. Oh, I haven't. This is the next one I'm doing. So, yeah. So, I hope I hope this is helping. So, you go through, go through that um, devotional, like I shared. You can do this in a traveler's notebook if you have one. You can actually do it in a notebook. But, write out the title of it, and then... Write down the scriptures just as she has inside of the Bible. And then you come through and you check them off when you're done with them. So that is another idea you could do. And this is right back to my fervent book. This one right here, I am writing through. Let me see if I can find it. What actual the word prayer means so the P stands for praise what praise is and then you know I just love writing notes and again you don't have to do this but I just I write this all out and I looked up the verses and I highlighted the verses and I did all this in my pray the scripture Bible so you will see the P, the R, the A, the S, I just, I wrote them out. And I love, 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 love doing that. What a fervent prayer represents. So, that is how I am working through my fervent book. There is no right way, there's no wrong way. Just, I highly recommend and suggest at least, at the very, very least, if you're not a note taker and just, you don't have the time to really devote to something like this, at least when as you're reading highlight this um sayings and scriptures and i mean if, if anything please whatever scriptures she talks about at least go to your bible and highlight it i mean that, that's the very very least study you know you you can do but highlight the book whatever sticks out to you so you can come back and remember like wow what she was saying right here I, I needed this. This was extremely important and it helped me like it, it helped me grow. So when you're flipping through the book just real quick and you just want to recap on what you read, your eyes are automatically going to come to what you made stand out. Okay. So, um, yeah, that is what I'm doing for my fervent study. And... I will end it there. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful. If some, you know, if anything, just a little bit. But um, if you do decide to take any of these tips, there's no right, no wrong, wrong way. Like I've said, this is just the way I do it, and it does. It helps me. It really, really does help me. I'm just digging deeper, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm getting excited about prayer again. So okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye.